Hello, this is Reza from Radacad and today I'm going to talk about a Power Query function that you can use uh, which will give you the ability to do the exchange uh, currency exchange rate conversion uh, here as you can see I have sales amount in New Zealand dollar for example using this function I managed to convert it to US dollars with the live rate let's see how it works Um, to create a currency conversion scenario, uh, I used two different steps. One step was to create the function and another step was to uh, call that function and invoke the function and get the result. In this uh, video, I'm talking about how you can create the function. Um, there is a website that I used for this process. It's called uh, uh, free.currencyconverterapi. Uh, the currency converter itself, the API of that is available uh, as a paid API, but there is a free version of that which you can get it and it supports up to 100 uh, requests per hour. Uh, and it is really easy to use. Uh, so you need to do uh, get your you need to get your API key. There's a process that you go and get your API key. The API calls are also simple, something like uh, like this call which generates an output which is the exchange rate and it is live and it is uh, correct at least for those uh, rates that I checked, uh, those few rates that I have checked, right? So very good website. Uh, I used it and I created a Power Query function for that. The code of this function, you can go and find it in my blog down below in the description. Uh, this is the code and this is actually my blog and if you scroll down, you will find here Power Query function the script. Uh, so I can go and copy this script. Now, uh, where to paste it? You can, of course, go and paste it in Power BI Desktop. However, I don't recommend that because um, this is a free API and it supports only up to 100 API calls. Um, you might have a table with 10,000 rows. You don't want to call that a API 10,000 times, right? It would become slow and it is not also supported, right? Uh, what you can do instead is to um, call that API only for the combination of currencies that you want, store it as an intermediate table, uh, and then use it as a result. And that is something you can do with Power BI data flows. I have created another video about data flows. If you are interested, go ahead and check that. So here in this workspace, for example, I can go and create a data flow using a new entity. So I add a new entity. And um, here I'm going to, uh, it is coming up in a second, I'm going to select a blank query because I'm building that function. And I paste that query over here, right? Uh, so that script that I copied over there, I paste it here. Uh, one important thing here is that this section that says uh, paste your API key here, this is uh, where you should need to put your API key when you register over there for free, when you provide your email address, it sends you an API key, which that is the key that you need to paste here. Then click on next. This is going to create the function for you. And it is a function that you just provide which currency from which currency to which currency it gives you the rate and rates are like those three and uh, the, the currency codes are those three codes like NZD, USD. Uh, now for the uh, for the function name, make sure you call it get exchange rate. This is case sensitive, so if you are going to use the code I provided in this example, name it exactly like this. Uh, and then you also need to have a table which has uh, let's say exchange values in it, right? Uh, which you can use that table then here uh, for uh, calling this. Now I'm going to just uh, use interdata for example here, but that table usually comes from Excel, from a SQL Server, from something like that, right? I create a blank table with from and to currencies and I say, okay, from uh, New Zealand dollar, change it to US dollar. And you can add more. Uh, in this case, I just need this rate. I don't really need more than that. And I'm going to call this currency table. Uh, 
Now I'm going to call that function for this and the way that you can call it the function right now we don't have the invoke custom function option in data uh, flow graphical interface it might be available later on but for now you can do it this way right click on this step insert step after and then here you can paste the code that I have a little bit further down when I say using the function you can copy this code and paste it here I think I couldn't copy that so copy the code and paste it here yep it is this one uh, it asks you to configure the connection because uh, it's a web connection you have to choose the identity and things like that it's anonymous connection so I just click on connect and this should provide me the result um, so, uh, and it should work now in this case because I haven't pasted my API key so you see it is uh, giving me an error but in uh, if you have your API key there it would work perfectly fine now I'm just showing you another data flow example that I have my API key in it and you can see that it is working perfectly fine um, so I have uh, followed the same process I've created my get exchange rate function uh, and then here in the currencies all I have done was just calling that function and it provides provided the rates so here you go you have now a, a power query function that gives you uh, rates in a table in data flow the good thing about this is that this is a table that is now saved uh, you can refresh the data flow as well but this table is now saved and in power bi you can use that table to then later on uh, get uh, the rate in the power bi using merging queries and then finally uh, uh, calculating the um, value in with, uh, considering that rate that is what I'm going to explain in the next uh, video how to use that result and do the currency conversion in the Power BI desktop if you like this video go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel we have weekly videos of Power BI and AI